Hello, ladies, gentlemen, patrons of the internet. I also have to welcome my witch um, brethren, sister and uh, siblings, I should say, to this video. This is about my craft and um, what's going on in it. So this is my Book of Shadows. It kind of has this um, Celtic design on the front. And um, this is about where I am. It's mostly spells and sigils and recipes as of right now, and I'm trying to build it. I have some like crow feathers, and then I have uh, recipes for these are both pop culture spells, and then this is a spell from another book I'll be talking about. But yeah, most of this I'm throwing out and coloring because I love colors, and um, it really helps me. This is. Um, this has been in the making for a while, and it's going to be in the making for another long while. I also have some um, dried lavender and rose hips in here. Um, but yeah, the next book I want to talk about is the Book of Kitchen Witchery, which I got this at the Pierce County Library, and um, I'm working through it and writing down the recipes that I want to make and um, that sort of thing. It's a really nice book. The visuals are really cute. That's why I really love um, my craft. I love all the visuals and all the books. They're all really sweet and charming, but they also have lots of good information for it, which is, um, before I go any further, I'd like to, this is like a Wednesday Adams dress that I found at Goodwill. And the tag is right over there. It's Victoria Beckham, her collection. And her collection has a lot of... I don't know, I shouldn't speak on her collection, but this is just the sun hat that I got at Claire's. My hair is kind of messy, so I'm trying to hide it. Um, I do not like how floppy it is. Sometimes it has little hearts. These aren't holes, or they are holes, but they're not like circular holes. They're little hearts. And I want to find like lavender or something to make the rim... Like, I want to get, like, flower stems or something to put up here to make the rim, um, to make the rim rigid. Um, I don't quite like how floppy it is, but it's really cute, so I wear it. The next book, um, I haven't really read in depth, but it's a book about the major arcana called Bewitch's Tarot, and it has this very lovely portrait of, um, a man with very long hair and a beard holding and fame over a chalice. And, um, um, from what I've looked at it so far, it's kind of confusing to read. There's another book called 78 Degrees from Divination that my partner has. My partner is much more avid in tarot than I am, but she has that book and she recommends it. Um, a lot. This book does have like Raymond Buckland's uh, like a quote from him on the back, and um, I know that he's kind of big in the pagan world. I haven't read much of his work yet, but I will in the future. I'm also getting some more books from the library today that would be relevant to this video, so I'm not sure if I'm going to put them in today or not. But the other book that I have with me is the Pagan Book, Pagan Book of Halloween. I picked this up, and this is kind of one of the most useful books to me because I love Samhain and I love um, the traditions behind it and I love practicing on it. Yeah, but this book is, it has a really pretty portrait, it's very thin, and it has tons of information, it's really condensed. Um, as for me, I'm kind of a kitchen witch, so I, of course I have the... Um, the font is kind of interesting. The traditional Halloween cookery um, chapter dog eared for my human Fletcher Baker. There's also the kitchen's the kitchen witch's compendium. I snap this um, thing right here and check my email. I have it um, open, or I don't have it open, but I will have it open. Um, kitchen witch's compendium. I have three books waiting for me at the library. Just a second. Library items requested July of 2020. Um, the I Don't Give a Fuck Book of Spells, I-D-G-A-F Book of Spells. That one looks really cute. There's one that's called The Witch. Um, blank, blank, something, 
un something un and unapologetic, and I I seen that at uh, I seen that at Borders. No, Borders doesn't. Is Borders still around? Is it Borders or Barnes and Noble that went out of business? Anyway, it's one of those big corporate bookstores, and I really want to purchase it, but I just simply don't have the money for that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, that one, this one is... The Hearth Witch's Kitchen Compendium. The Hearth Witch's Compendium, which is about kitchen, witch, and um, gardening, and that kind of thing, which I'm really excited for. That's a, that's a thick book, too. Um, a Kitchen Witch's Cookbook, which, um, yeah, I'll be taking lots of recipes and spells from all three of those. So, um, I just wanted to talk about my craft a little bit. I found a spoon, which is more or less my wand, being a Kitchen Witch. Um, I drilled a hole in it, I consecrated it, and I want to put a sigil or like a triple goddess or something on it. Um, I'm currently working on a spell jar for finding a home, making that home happy and lovely, loving and prosperous, and um, yeah, I have a bottle picked out for it, and then I'm going to put a green can on, and I, I, all I have to do is fill it with herbs, and I want some sand from the waterfront to help bring this home there, and uh, yeah, that's about it for right now. I'm working on working on this friend, which is going to be a lot of recipes and whatnot. Um, I hope everyone has a blessed day.